Hi guys, welcome back. This is technically part two of the abduction uh, video segments, but you don't have to go watch the first one to follow along and understand this one. This one's actually going to cover the official uh, MUFON, Mutual UFO Network questionnaire, abductee close encounter questionnaire. Um, according to their findings, this was the most adequate questions to ask to people to see if they have truly been an experiencer of the paranormal, for lack of a better word, right? Um, fun fact I want to share with you, uh, scientists have realized and discovered now that um, people with nearsighted vision um, are actually very closely linked to genius and intelligence IQ levels. So just fun fact for all the nearsighted people out there. Now moving along with the questionnaire, this is going to be a yes or a no. So if you need to pause this video and get a piece of paper and a pen so that you can write down your yes and no answers for the questionnaire as we go through it. And then when we get to the end of it, which it isn't very long, um, then we will cover, you know, zero to five yeses, six to ten, so on and so forth. Okay. So question number one, do you take more vitamins than most people? Question number two, do you have chronic sinus or migraine headache troubles? Question number three, do you feel you might be psychic? Question number four, do you secretly feel that you may be accosted or kidnapped if you do not stay constantly um, monitoring your surroundings? Uh, you know, vigilant. Number five, do you have trouble sleeping through the night? Number six, do you secretly feel like you are special or chosen in some way, shape, or form? Question seven, have you thought about a security system installation for your home? Um, everywhere that you're going to be, your car, your business, whatever it is, you know, where you spend a lot of time. Uh, even if you haven't acted upon it yet, you know, the, just thinking about it reason is what we want to know. Okay. Uh, number seven, no, excuse me, number eight, do you have dreams of flying or being outside of your body? like astral projection or out-of-body experiences, OBEs. <clears throat> uh, do you or have you dreamt of um, UFOs or being inside of them? Number 10, as a child or a teen, was there a place that you felt had a spiritual meaning for you? A uh, very safe, sacred place space that you would go to. Number 11, as a child or an adult, did you or do you hear voices talking to you? Number 12, have you ever experienced a period of time while awake where you could not remember what you did during that period of time, what you actually did or where you were? 13, have you ever seen faces near your bed, which you could not explain? 14. Have you ever seen a UFO from a distance? 15. Have you ever seen a UFO up close? 16. If you've ever seen a UFO, either up close or from a distance, did you feel compelled to get closer to it or to be near it. 17. Do you have a waking memory of being inside of a UFO? 18. Does talk of aliens upset you? 19. Have you had multiple UFO sightings? 
or what you would call multiple UFO sightings. Twenty, are you sensitive to issues pertaining to Earth? Are you passionate about them? Do they affect you? Um, you know, like strongly. Twenty-one, do you dream of angels telling you about mankind? Twenty-two, does your home have unexplainable sounds that you attribute to ghost or poltergeist activity? And I'm going to circle back around to that one in a moment. Uh, 23. Have you had nosebleeds or found blood stains on your pillows when you awaken? 24. Have you ever had x-rays that found strange objects in your body? 25. Have you awakened to find strange marks or bruises on your body? Anywhere on your body. Now, I want you to go through the list of 25 questions, and I want you to count the number of yes answers. And in just a moment, we will cover what that means. But I want to circle back around to question 22. Does your home have unexplainable, unexplainable sounds that attribute to ghost or poltergeist activity? And I want to just let you know <clears throat> that... MUFON may or may not be aware of the CIA's findings from the 50s and 60s on the abilities of the human nature. Um, but I will inform you that there have been a multitude of um, people or cases or examples, however you want to look at it, that were investigated by the CIA in the 50s and 60s, um, where they believed there was high strangeness and poltergeist activity taking place in particular homes or particular areas. Now, I was very interested in this uh, findings of the of this study um, simply because of the Salem witch trials and etc. Um, I wanted to know, you know, if this had some kind of connection an explanation for what was really going on there where they thought that people were, you know, witches and then fearful of them. Uh, and in fact, it did actually correlate uh, quite perfectly, to be honest, with um, their findings being that the human spirit has the ability to move objects and manipulate things, um, particularly electricity, um, anything electronic, but also inanimate ob objects as well. Um, <clears throat> and I found this to be very fascinating because I knew that I personally could move things. And for a very long time in my life, I did not understand why other people couldn't do what I did or weren't doing what I could do. Um, and that if they did do it, they would automatically attribute it to ghosts or poltergeists or UFOs and alien abductions. Um, so I just want to say real quick that that's not always the case, okay? Even though that is on their findings list questionnaire. I, I really just felt compelled to put that in there um, because as many of you know, my mission in this life is to teach you just who you are and to show you that we are so much more powerful and magical than we've been led to believe. And any time in history that there was a small group of us who came forth with these abilities we were chastised, we were crucified, we were burned at a stake. Um, in modern society, we're just labeled as crazy or delusional or liars or, you know, charlatans or whatever. Um, 
and granted, you know, there's been many uh, healers and psychics and people with abilities who are maybe not very well-versed abilities who are the charlatans that give the rest of us a very bad name. Um, I am also a professional online psychic and I'm very good at what I do, but I'm a legitimate online psychic. And I know that there's the, you know, Miss Cleos and such of the world that are just bogus bullshit that give people like me a very bad rap <laughs> and reputation. And um, even some of my people in my close circle um, will try to minimize my profession and minimize my abilities um, simply because of things like that. So... Uh, with all that being said, I just, my mission in this life is to give you back your power and to show you how to use the tools that you were born with. And so I really just felt very compelled to slide that in there on the side. Now we'll get back to the questionnaire. And if your yes answers were between zero and five, there's probably nothing for you to be pondering or concerned about whatsoever. You likely have not ever been abducted. Six through ten yeses on the questionnaire. Uh, you share a lot of uh, experiences with uh, abductees, but likely have not been abducted personally. And uh, my own notation added to this is that you're more likely to uh, simply be an empath. And I say simply loosely because it's not simple to be an empath, but you probably are more likely an empath who uh, can tap into the collective consciousness, the collective experiences of other people. And so you see it through their eyes, if you will, or you feel it through their feelings, right? Or however your em empathic gifts work, um, your, your psychic abilities as an empath. So, you know, six through 10, probably you're more likely an empath than an abductee. If you have 11 to 15 yes answers, there is a very strong possibility that you have been abducted and you should probably explore this further. Um, I know quite a bit on this subject, so please feel free to put your comments in the um, area for that on the video and uh, reach out to me on the website if you wish to do this, you know, personally without a public forum seeing your your comments or your questions. Um, confidentiality is always greatly respected, and um, I'll do my very best to help you to find your clarity and to heal from it where you need to heal and um, move forward in better understanding and clarity of what's been going on. So, um, if you have 16 to 20 yeses, then you most definitely have been abducted, but likely until now, didn't really realize it. You may have suspected it, but until you do the questionnaire, you really, it didn't really sink in. This is like your aha moment. And so, um, take a moment and take a breath. And if this is something that is fearful to you, I want you to rest assured that you are not in danger. You have the tools and ability to protect yourself. And if you wish for no further abduction to occur in your life and you want to know more information about that, feel free to put a comment below or reach out and contact me at the website, irksonlovecraft.com. I am available 24-7. If I don't get back to you immediately, I will get back to you in a reasonable amount of time. I am very good about reaching out to everyone who speaks to me and I talk to people all over the world. So don't let any kind of time zone or language be a barrier. Okay. We can get through this together. And that is my purpose and my mission to be here is to help you to heal and understand who you are so that you can embrace it and love you for all of who you are and use it to your greatest good so that we can truly enjoy living on this planet 
the way we were meant to. Okay? My lights in the background keep distracting me. I keep looking at them. Uh, so if you have 21 to 25 yes answers from this questionnaire, obviously you are definitely an abductee. And you likely already knew this and probably just wanted to take the questionnaire for fun or to see if there was anything new that comes from this one versus other ones you've looked at before because I'm sure you've done that. That's what we all do when we're abductees and we feel pretty confident that we are. We seek out that knowledge and we seek out others like us. So again, I am going to refer back to my website that I really literally make very little money from. Uh, just about everything I do is by donation, which is fine and perfectly good. So I'm not plugging this website business to make money, okay? I'm not. I'm doing it to help people and to show you that I have created a safe, spiritually sacred space for all of us to come and join together. And I have a forum there that is completely non-biased, non-judgmental, and censorship free because I control you. Okay. There's no middleman. So please come join the forum completely free to be a member of the website and the forum and the newsletters that I send out. So come sign up, find your soul tribe. Let's talk. Let's work this out. Let's form groups of support together and um, move forward in a positive manner. Because knowledge is power. Okay. And also, um, again, if you want to understand further why the abductions are occurring, or if you want to do something to prevent them, I can help you to understand either choice. Um, it's not my place to tell you whether you should be comfortable with being abducted or not. Okay. For me personally, I am comfortable with it um, for the most part. I'm comfortable with the the ones that I know that are friends and family, but I am not okay with uh, nefarious abductions of uh, various races of beings. And um, so I learned to shield myself, protect myself, and prevent those abductions from happening further so that I didn't have to live in fear of this is something I can't control. Because you can. You can. And if you um, believe in the Bible at all, then you will remember that you were taught in Genesis that God made man in his own image to be the caretakers of this earth. And with that being said, he gave you the tools and the ability to be creators. He created the angels to be our assistants. You see, I mean, the whole story of the fallen angels were the ones that wanted to be our equals rather than our helpers. They were supposed to be that logical mind, while, which is the servant, while we are the intuitive mind, which is the gift. We have the gift of intuition. We have the gift of manifestation, of creativity. Um, our angels, and I'm not putting them down. This is just a matter of fact. Angels were created as our helpers. They're the logical ones. Um, where there is a, a need for that. But they're not to be the leaders. They're not to be on a pedestal above us. And uh, we are the commanders of this domain. So if we understand that and we walk in that truth, then no one can take you against your will. That's from any other planet or this one. Because you have a whole new sense of power at that point. So... Again, I encourage you, visit the website, join the forum. Let's start having these group conversations. 
Let's form a soul tribe. Let's form a support group for the people that have experienced these things that, you know, the general population doesn't even want to talk about. Even if the general population is at the point now where they all believe that we're being visited by other beings and UFOs. Okay, great. That's a baby step. We still need the support groups for the people that really are in the meat and bones of it, right? The thick of it. So don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I'm easily accessible. I am dutiful and grateful to assist you in any way that I possibly can, okay? Um, I'm going to be doing more video series like this rather than um, things I've been doing in, in the previous formats because I feel like um, I'm not doing enough, honestly. I, I feel like the efforts that I was putting into the other um, videos and stuff wasn't enough. So I've uh, really been working at ways that I can make this more interesting, um, more exciting, more encouraging, more uplifting. Uh, I really want you to want to know who you are, you know, because like I can tell you all day long who you are, but if you don't believe it, what good's that do you, right? So I need to um, be more creative in delivering the message to you in a way that makes you want to learn more and be thirsty for it and be hungry for it. And there's plenty of reasons to be. And so I'm going to start presenting those reasons to you um, to get you excited about loving you again. Because, you know, when I say to people, it's all about self-love, they, they just kind of almost glaze that over and dismiss it like it's not all that it really is. But if you have true understanding of exactly who you are, why you're here, and why you've experienced the things you have, abduction and all, you appreciate yourself more, you love yourself more, you respect yourself more and you reach for more and then you're thankful for where you've come from and what you've been through. You understand it better and when we can comprehend things better and come at them from a new perspective, a fresh set of eyes, it makes all the difference in the world <clears throat> to our total well-being and our happiness and that's all I want for all of us is for us to find our highest good and our highest possible well-being and balance of happiness. And yeah, we're going to still have bad days and we're going to have bad experiences once in a while, you know. But the more you love yourself, truly and honestly, the more you love yourself, the less often you have the bad days and the bad experiences. Because you start understanding how to create and manifest the more desirable experiences. And I want to show you how to do that so that you can truly live on this planet the way that God meant for you to live on this planet from day one. And that is in peace and joy and harmony and balance with yourself and with everything. So I look forward to speaking with you. I look forward to showing you all the ways and reasons to love yourself. Um, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Maybe share. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Until the next one, be well and be blessed in love and light.